This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. Go Pascal.com. We right, went a little long there with Eddie, so uh, we're a little late getting to Alyssa Orange from Pig Trail Nation joining us here on Halftime. Apologies, Alyssa, but uh, all is That's right okay. in the world. We're with you. It just took us an extra seven yeah. minutes. How are you? That's all right. Eddie can have all the time. <laughs> have you met Eduardo yet? <laughs> I have not. Not in person, but obviously with Saul working for Bo Show for so long, I am very well aware of who uh, Eddie is. Did Bo have conversations with Eddie on the air? I, you know, I, he called almost every show. The, Was there a lot of back and forth the between the two? Conver- <laughs> I don't think so. I was like, say, what's the definition of a conversation? Because I think it's just a ready, set, go. And I think that's kind of, you know, he got a question in every now and then. Sound about right? Yeah, well, I'm trying. I keep trying. <laughs> I keep, you know, I keep telling Eddie, keep calling. We're going to have a conversation. Love you, Eddie. Yeah, and I do too, even though I've never met him. Sooner or later, I think we'll get to that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's Bobby Petrino week. It's homecoming week. It's yeah. FCS game yeah. week. I mean, which direction do you go? You go with the Bobby Petrino aspect of this. So, right. I mean, you, what, what, do you, what do you make of, what do you think you're going to see in the stadium on Saturday, Alyssa? I mean, we've heard all sorts of rumors. Uh, I think that means those rumors are probably true, and you're going to get some blow-up mm-hmm. dolls. You're going to get some... Some uh, some neck braces and, and things like that. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a unique mm-hmm. atmosphere and one that we probably won't experience oh, yeah. again. Oh, I'm sure, absolutely. And, and it's definitely one of a kind. I mean, the student section is going to do what the student section is going to do. And they've got quite the sense of humor. And look, go, go for it. You, you know, have some fun with this game. Um, I think that there's going to be a lot of former players back here as well that played for Petrino. Um because even though what happened happened, you know, they have respect for him as their coach. Uh, and that includes our DJ Williams, who, who got to play for Petrino for a handful of years. So um, it's going to be a very interesting atmosphere and definitely a mix of people who are still upset about the way that it all went down. And understandably so, you could easily argue you set Arkansas football back seven years with, with the stump that he pulled. Um, and then there's, there are those people who have forgiven him and who have looked past it and are, and are going to be happy to see him again. I know from requesting a sit-down interview with DJ and Petrino with their SID at Missouri State that um, it, was, it was denied, by the way. But it's a very emotional week for him, too. I mean, he sees this also, right? He knows exactly what he's walking into. We saw him at the Little Rock Touchdown Club last year or two years ago. He's still emotional about how everything went down. So it's going to be a very interesting juxtaposition of emotions in that stadium come 6 o'clock on Saturday. Yeah, and you better come ready to play, too, you know, <laughs> well, yes. from what we saw last week. And I, I don't think there were, like, big-time FBS programs that fell to FCS, but it happened, like, six or seven games last week yeah. where an FCS team defeated an FBS team. And this is one of the best FCS programs and right. I mean, look, if there's a coach that knows how to uh, take advantage of things that he might see, uh, either scheme wise or, you know, a, you know, a lack of something defensively here or there, like Bobby Petrino right. knows how to take advantage of that. So you got to come ready. Exactly. Well, this is a guy who's coached on every single level that there is. And I don't think there's another FCS coach who can say that. And so regardless of where his football team is, and uh, and the the league that they're in, this is still Bobby Petrino, and he knows how to coach football, and he definitely knows how to coach against SEC teams. So, um, been really impressed with their quarterback, Jason Shelley. Watched a little bit of their game against UT Martin. Dude had like 297 yards, five touchdowns. Again, I get who the opponent was, but he can sling the ball around, and I think that we know if there's maybe question marks for this Arkansas football team. They're in that secondary and you could see Bobby Petrino watching film and saying, okay, we're going to take shots downfield and see what happens. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this game unfolds at the beginning. Um, I think Arkansas obviously will win this game and, and hopefully put it away sooner rather than later Saturday night. But don't think that Bobby's not going to come in here and try some stuff and do some stuff and see what happens. Mm Mm-hmm. And it feels like with all the momentum that Arkansas has right now that this should be a no-brainer. Arkansas should 100% win this game. 
But with everything going on in the outside, homecoming week, uh, Bobby's return, how, how does Arkansas, you know, stay focused and avoid the, the <coughs> upset? Because if, if, you know, you gave me a blind resume and told me all these things were going on in another university and all the background to it, I'd say that could be a possible upset type of situation. Yeah, I, you, look, you could definitely look at it that way, but I think I just need to point at the Texas game to uh, to kind of share, if you're looking for where Arkansas's focus is as a football team, just look at that game from a year ago. And, um, you know, those players didn't really know about the rivalry between Arkansas and Texas and the old Southwest Conference and all of that kind of stuff, and it was what everyone was talking about. And they put that aside, and they got the job done against the top uh 15 team now you kind of are roles reversed but here's the deal none of those kids played for Petrino and they know the history but some of them like my team we kind of had to explain what happened with Bobby Petrino because I wasn't even here when that happened I came in 2013 so some of these kids probably don't even know and homecoming is homecoming and that is what it is that happens every year so even though this is all anyone can talk about these are kids who have no idea truly what's is and they just want to win football games and they have a much more things that they want to accomplish so I don't see them being distracted at all quite personally so the way that you're describing this would be the exact opposite of Houston Nutt taking the Ole Miss job in 2008 <laughs> and then coming and then playing against the Razorbacks after that you know I mean they had some of yeah. those players on those teams mm-hmm. it was fresh in everybody's mind a lot different yeah. though you know I mean Houston was was fired Very. and Various reasons why uh, the program really wasn't very good at that point. So, yeah, a much different. Like none of these players yeah. on either side would really. I think some of them would have trouble even remembering what went down. Yeah, well, I guess if you had to do the math, and I'm terrible at math, was what 2022. That happened in 2011. That year, that's what 11 years ago. Mm-hmm. Some of these kids were like. Nine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really remember much when I was nine. You know what I mean, guys? <laughs> no, I get it. I don't. I don't remember. Uh, there, there's a few things, but you know, especially if I wasn't involved or I was an Arkansas fan, I wouldn't. I wouldn't remember. I mean, I, I kind of had to remind myself uh, about the story because heck, I was. I think I was like 14 at the time and wasn't really paying attention no, to what was going on. So, you know, it just. It's just one of those things, Alyssa. But with way with to, way to make us all feel old. <laughs> you're, you. you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm, that's what <laughs> being the young person in radio is all about. Back to what what's going on in the field, though. And I'm going to put you on the spot yeah. here because you can only you can't oh, don't don't bail out and say both. Who's the better Sanders? Thanks. Who's the better Sanders? Drew or Rocket? <laughs> Dang it. Wow, that is a great question, and I am going to go with Drew Sanders okay. right now. You can go back on that Drew if Sanders you want right, to in about Drew two Sanders, minutes. <laughs> Drew Sanders right now, I think Rocket, if you were to ask me at the end of the season, might be the answer, but the way that Drew is playing right now, and I know that Drew, can, this is really hard, but that's why I'm, I'm sticking to it. That's what I'm going for. I'm going Drew Sanders. But, man, Rocket has so much potential. It is going to be so fun to watch. Both of these guys are fun to watch. But you made me pick one, and I'm going with Drew Sanders, and I'm sticking with it. Sorry. I understand why. And and, and I don't blame you for making that pick, and that might be who I would I would go with, too. And, and maybe part of that is... I guess it would matter on, you know, how Dominique looks when he does come back, if he does come back. Um, you know, mm-hmm. you feel really good about A.J. Green, about Rashad Dubinion. There's nothing against yeah. Rocket because I think he's an incredibly mm-hmm. good running back. I think he's going to be an NFL player. But there's yeah. something about Drew Sanders that has just kind of lacked a little bit. Defensively for Arkansas, you haven't had a great pass rushing linebacker who can run sideline to sideline and chase mm-hmm. down running backs too. There's just, there's just something about Drew Sanders mm-hmm. that stands out mm-hmm. maybe a little bit more. And we're being nitpicky I because think, you asked us to, Drew. Yeah, <laughs> and right. And I think kind of to Phil's point, like if you want to put it into perspective that way, and this is not at all a knock on Rocket Sanders, but you know it's a lot harder to find a linebacker doing what he's doing right now than maybe to find a running back who's doing what he's doing right now. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, you made perfect sense right there for me. Absolutely. So uh, let's see. What, what, are you a little worried at all about Catalan being out for the year? I like Latavius Brini. And, I, you know, one thing I mm-hmm. guess I would be a little bit nervous about would be the ankle. And I, I think he was yeah. I think he was a practice and, and apparently wasn't, uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't wearing the green jersey. I think the same with Trey Knox. But, uh, you know, I would mm-hmm. like to think that, yeah. that you got somebody healthy that's stepping into that role. But at least you'll get Slusher back. So, I mean, that depth is being yeah. tested, but I think they're deep at that position. Yeah, and I think so. And I think, if anything, this is a chance for Brini, who, again, as Pittman mentioned, started for Georgia a couple games a year ago. Uh, this is this is you, bro. It's, it's your turn, right? And so you've given him that confidence, and we're going to kind of see him play like like the gamer that he is. And uh, honestly, if it's... If I'm Sam Pittman and there's an ounce of anything wrong with any of my safeties, green jersey you. Like, you're not getting much time doing anything to mess you up during practice until game time because it's so valuable for him to be on the field. And I think that's the same thing with Trey Knox. We saw him kind of limping with that ankle last week. And uh, and then he was on the bike. He was trying to kind of run it out. But it's like, you're Trey Knox. I'm just going green jersey you, bro, all week because I'm not even going to mess with you getting hurt at practice or getting more hurt at practice. You just need to be ready for Saturday. So that's kind of my thought on it. As for Catalan being out, man, it just breaks my heart. I mean, I have really enjoyed this kid since we got to go to Mansfield when he was still in high school and sit down with him and talk with him. And um, it's, it's, it's talent wasted right now off the field, and you hate that. But more personally, you hate that you can't be out there. It's not just about not being out there on Saturdays, but you don't get to travel with your teammates. Like you don't, you're not really around right now. And and Sam says he's giving him some time because he's down. I just personally could not imagine what he's going through mentally. And so I just hope that. You know, he knows that people are thinking about him, and Arkansas football is going to be fine. I'm from a more personal note, obviously, just heartbreaking for the kid. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave it there, Alyssa. Appreciate you, as always. See you at the stadium on yeah, Saturday. Yeah, guys, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it, Alyssa. Yeah, to kind of like to try to put yourself in Jalen Catalan's mind. I mean, maybe you might have felt the same way about it last year with the shoulder injury, and he tried to play through another injury. Uh, comes back, you can see he's not quite the same, and and so, you know, he undergoes surgery. You're going to sit out half the season. You'll come back as good as ever and, and be ready to go and, and showcase yourself for your teammates, for your family, for NFL scouts, and then move on to the next level. Now it's happened again earlier in the season than before. Same injury. And, uh, gosh, it's just it's got to be totally crushing for anybody in that sort of a position like Jalen Catalan finds himself in once again. All right, 877-377-6963 if you want to react to anything we just talked about. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to wager on all your favorite sports, contests, and events with first-to-market odds and lines. Find reviews and news for every league, including Major League Baseball, NFL, NBA, NHL, combat sports, eSports, and even golf. Bet online continues to be the top online resource for all your sports information from live in-game betting, props, and futures. Head to Bet Online today or use your mobile device to join today and make your first sports bet use our promo code believe 50 to receive your 50 percent welcome bonus on your first deposit that's believe b-l-e-a-v 50 that's believe b-l-e-a-v five zero bet online where the game starts